Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to do something really interesting, really cool. So I've got this little cedar. It's been growing here for like about, I don't know, like a year. Now you might think that this is not very advanced, and this doesn't look like anything special, but bear in mind that this was not transplanted in a very good time. So uh, being that the case, I think it's very it's doing very, very well. Uh, now we can see that it's recovered and because of the mild weather in the autumn that we've been having here, it's, you know, you can see that it's really healthy. It's really like it. So next spring will be even better. We'll have long shoots, long branches that we can work with. And actually, since this is the autumn, this is the fall, we can start um, working on it already. So we can see that it's growing in a colander, so it's it's got some root work. Yeah, so we can see the color of the foliage. You can see that it's really, really cool. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do today is wiring. Wiring. Now, I've mentioned before that uh, where I live, it's very difficult to get copper wire or aluminum wire. And if you do get them, you have to order them in the mail from other states, and that's super, super expensive. So I don't do that very often because I, I look for alternatives where I live. I think that bonsai should be something that everyone could practice, even if they, you know, they don't have a lot of money or a lot of time or a lot of room in their home. Yeah, I think everyone should be able to do it. So this is uh, actually iron, iron wire. Now, you might think that iron is not very suitable for bonsai, and you will be right, but this one, uh, besides being very thin, is very malleable, it's very flexible. So if we're careful, and if we cut a long piece of wire like this one, and we use a, uh, you know, the rest of the a, of a piece as a lever, you know, uh, it's very easy to do that. In fact, I think you've seen other works uh, where I've used it, I think my red oak in my previous video, one of my previous videos, you can see how I use the same type of wire and it's, you know, it works very well and it doesn't have any type of problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we do, it's do that, right? In fact, I'm going to go a little bit closer to the actual trunk of the tree. And if we can, it will be very good if we, I don't know if you can see, but we're actually, you know, gone right through the colander. So what we do when we do that is bend that little piece of excess wire that we have right there. I think there it is. So the wire doesn't move around when we are working with our sapling. So we proceed to wire very carefully. Remember, 45 degree angle, right? We go like this. We don't actually take the wire very close to where we are uh, doing that turn, we actually take one of the ends of a piece of wire so like I said that can be like a little leverage that we have when we are working with it we avoid shoots and little by little we twist and turn we go like this it doesn't matter if we take uh, a few of the needles in the process because either way these are going to be needles that are going to be lost when we you know when we sorry when the tree actually starts to grow a bit more so there we go but we do have to be careful not to not to wire over a branch or a little butt, because that will be a no-no. <laughs> so 
So there we go. have it. I'm gonna go get the wire cutters. It'll be it'll be just a sec. So when we reach the top, the only thing we do is close it like so. I don't know if you can see very well. And then we just cut the excess. Okay, so maybe we can see uh, if we have little needles that we can free from the wire. That'll be okay. If not, it's okay as well. Right now it's okay because uh, the actual shoots are free. So in the future, there'll be absolutely no problem if we lose those, those little needles, a few of them. Not all of them, of course, but a few of them. That'll be perfectly fine. So there we go. So we've got our tree wired, our little sapling wired. What do we do now? Now, if you can see right here, we can see that the tree doesn't have a very good navari because right when it starts to grow, it goes like this. There's a little curve right there that goes that way, but the tree wants to go this way. That's okay, that's okay. But we also have to take into consideration the whole movement, the movement as a whole of the tree. And we also have to consider the direction in which we wire. So if we wire in this way, in this direction, we can go in that direction because the wire will become loose. So we have to wire in this direction, right? Following the direction uh, in which we wire the entire tree. Sorry, message. <laughs> so let's go right ahead and do that. We very carefully start to, you know, position the tree where we want it. So look, look how it is right there. Okay. So there we have a pretty good idea of what we can do with our trees of course we're not going to do 90 degree bends and uh you know very violent and you know drastic operations no oh, it's just go little by little and uh we can see that we can do very nice things with, with our trees, with our little plants. So we go like this, like I said, being very careful. Uh, I think we can even bring it down even further down so we can compact the plant. It's a nice idea to uh, distribute the, the, the you know the strength that we are exerting on the plant in different points so as so we don't do this we exert the all of our strength in just one place the, the branch is going to break right in this case the little trunk is going to break so we don't want that of course so we continue moving it'll be a good idea to leave all of those shoots in the exterior sides of curves so for example me i have a curb right here and i have a shoot right here so that's very good i compacted it a little bit right here and i'm going to give it a little bit of movement to this side
So we continue to move. Uh, let me just take a look at the overall design. I think we can move this like this. There we go. Hmm. That looks interesting. Maybe this can be the new apex. This is a side branch. This will be the main branch or this one right here. We can bend it, bend it like this. So I think that will be it for us. So that's the second step. Well, yeah, that, I think that would be the second step. Of course, there are many things that we can do in between to start shaping our little trees. But yeah, this is the initial wiring, right? So look at that. We have something that's that looks really, really cool right now. Not a lot of effort. But now we have movement. I think this is going to be the front of the tree. So we can see the movement right here, how it starts, then it goes down. This will be the new apex. So I think we got something here, guys. So like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing with uh, all the little saplings that I have. I'm going to show, the, show you those little saplings. Uh, it'll, it'll only be a second. Here we have them. Two little cedars that we have right there. They're not growing in a colander, but uh, in the future I think I'm going to transplant them to one. Because for this one, sorry another message, because for this one, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the juniper and the pine. I'm going to put the colander in a bigger pot with more soil so I can develop further. So that'll be it for today. These are my two other ones that I'm going to be wiring in this coming days. And maybe I'll make a video of it. If not, I'm going to show you at least the end result so you can see how we can get nice little starter bonsai from uh, practically nothing. Very very little things, uh, very little money, and it's something very, very uh, rewarding, like I've said before. Okay, so we got that, and uh, one final thing, I'm going to show you my cherry blossom seedlings from my previous video, so it will be like a, a little update. Check them out. Here we have them. They're doing very well. Look at that. I've got many, many more now. Uh, that little batch of seeds that I started to stratify and try to germinate uh, many more have uh, been germinating in this past few days look at this one, it's doing very well so I planted them in these little containers but I'll, next spring I will definitely put them in bigger pots I'm going to show you the other ones so I've also got this ones right here these were like the second batch and we also have this ones these were like the third wave of germinating little seeds and these two containers these little pots I planted yesterday from little seeds that have germinated in the past week or so so that's it anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one